briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1944, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of Steele v. Louisville and Nashville Railroad, which centered on the requirement that a union representative must represent all members of a particular group without discrimination. A black locomotive fireman brought the lawsuit against both his employer, the Louisville and Nashville Railroad Company, and the Brotherhood of Locomotive Firemen and Enginemen. The complaint alleged discrimination as the Brotherhood prevented black firemen from becoming members and tried to exclude them from the service. This resulted in the plaintiff losing his job, which went to less competent white men and eventually being relegated to lower quality work. Under the Railway Labor Act, Carriers are obligated to negotiate with a representative that represents every member of the craft without discrimination. The constitutionality of the act was questioned since it granted bargaining power to a representative over a group of employees without a corresponding obligation to its members. The Supreme Court of Alabama initially affirmed the circuit court's decision to sustain a demurrer of the complaint. However, the U.S. Supreme Court later decided that a union representative must represent all members of the craft and can be sued if they don't. As a result, the case was sent back to the lower court, with Justice Black expressing agreement with the ruling. The court's decision ensures a right to remedy for breaches of the statutory duty of a bargaining representative, with the right to be enforced by the courts when no other administrative remedy exists. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.